Hello, it's Monkeyfish here, and welcome to another tutorial. Um, in this video, I'll be showing you how to um, get brushes into GIMP, which is something really useful for making logos, making anything really, because basically the brushes they've got in GIMP standard, uh, just the ones you get with GIMP, they, they're just pretty standard, they're just like circles, and they're just not very, you can't be very creative with that, unless you have like a graphics pad. And they're expensive, but basically, you're going to want to go to this website, Deviant Art, Dv, Deviant Art. Um, I'll put a link in the description to this page here. Um, you'll see. Uh, one sec, sorry. Um, in one of my videos of how to make a logo on GIMP, um, I used that there, the Arcane Room things. That's that's the download to the the brush there and there's loads more there's loads of like wispy ones and any anything you want really they're all here um but basically that looks all right i'll for the sake of the video i'll get this one let's see what happens so basically uh you're going to need winrar because it's going to be a zipped file so you are going to not lag Mr. Computer. Uh, download the file, there should be a thing there. And then you'll bring up bring up a, this. And it will it will be at the bottom there as a WinRAR or it'll be here anywhere. Just um open the WinRAR. If that's an advert I'm going to be annoyed. No, it's not. Right, the WinRAR should be opening now. Okay, look, uh, close that. Okay, so basically, that there's a lot of brushes that come with each pack usually. There's quite a lot. So, basically, to make this all easier, uh, we're going to want to make a folder on the desktop. Uh, I'm going to use this one, which I've used in another video. There's, fonts, there's some fonts there. Uh, basically, you're going to want to. I'll just make a new folder in here to make it easier. Folder um, vector brushes. Okay, so let's open that, and then you're going to just want to drag all of that straight into there. Okay, now in here you have all of this all the brushes and then this see what this is I don't think you're going to need that, that's just a picture so you only need the ones with the gimp faces on okay and ba so we'll wait for that to the okay that's gone so now we can leave that open, let's put that there and we can close this so now what we're going to want to do is go to start my computer local disk program files gimp and then you're going to want to go to the file the share folder then gimp 2.0 brushes and here it's got all the standard brushes and it's also got the ones I've downloaded there's the arcane runes and whatever whatever you want really uh, okay now I'm just gonna I haven't actually downloaded these before so I'm just gonna drag them into here uh, let's put that there right let's wait for that to work okay uh, it's just doing it There you go, it should all be there, so now you can close that. And what I usually do is just delete the folder. Save space. And now you can close that. And, okay, yes. Uh, open GIMP. Which will probably take a minute. Okay, there it is. It's looking for the data files brushes. There it is right there. Um, so that's what you're going to have it will 
it will be there because it has just found that you have put the new brushes in. So basically, if you have GIMP open already when you're trying to download them, you're going to have to close it and restart it. Otherwise, when you try and get the brushes, they won't be there. So this is that's the thing that probably most people are going to be like, what? There's no brushes, um, and they'll start trolling. Uh, no, yeah, you, you just just restart it. Um, it will work. So basically, I'm just gonna skip this. Okay, so I am back. Uh, let's make something with the new brushes. Okay, six forty. Uh, yeah, just anything really. Okay, so now you want to get your brush tool, brush. And then you're gonna wanna go and look in here. Bam. Right, they're all there. Okay, that's good. Uh let's see this. That's cool. Let's see what else they've got. Yeah, this stuff looks pretty good for making logos. I'm gonna be using uh, yeah, I like this. That's retro and cool. I like that. So anyway, um, I'm just going to be playing around with this now. I like this. I'm pretty glad that I've got these now. Um, I recommend that you get this as well. You don't have to, but that's cool. Yep. Anyway, um, I'll see you in another tutorial. Um, yep. Goodbye.